being a good girl had me having bad sex because I was too much of a people pleaser to actually enjoy myself. I didn't know how to explore myself on my own because that was demonized. I didn't know how to ask for what I wanted and speak up because I didn't want to be difficult. Being a good girl had me having some of the worst sex ever. And so now that I've killed that portion of my like psyche and now that I've divested from this idea that I'm supposed to be good and digestible all the time, I know how to speak up for what I want. I know how to explore and I know how to go out there and seek the things that are going to satisfy me. Pleasure. Being a good girl had me having bad sex because I was too much of a people pleaser to actually enjoy myself. I didn't know how to explore. Shalom, shalom, call Allah, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. That's giving all praise to the Most High. Name is only begotten Son and name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Abar from the Prophets of Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles and the head bishops of Great Millstone who teach them real well. Okay. In this video, oh, peace and citation, hopeful, let's scatter the broad, Salakia. But in this video, I want to touch on real quick. This video I just came across. I saw an, 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 another woman posted it. And as I played it, you know, I just, you know, scripture started coming to mind. And it really was that scripture when she said, in the end, she said pleasure. You see, in today's woman, America has taught the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Indian woman, the Israelite woman, to be all about fun and pleasure. It's all about uh, being um, like I, I think about with um, with, with JJ to pick it to Will Smith about how you know she just wanted to feel good. She just wanted to feel good, and in doing that, she went and committed adultery with her son's friend. So these women are destroyed, man. These women are destroyed. But here's his First Timothy chapter five, verse six. But she that liveth in pleasure is dead. While she liveth, this is not going to satisfy you. This is not going to fulfill you, sweetheart. This is only going to bring you more death and destruction. This is only going to kill you. And if you notice, she said how she was always trying to be good, and what well, that means is she was trying to be modest. She was trying to be a uh uh. uh and look at this video. It got over two hundred and thirty one k, okay, <laughs> views. Okay, so this is the stuff that's been promoted in America, man. You know. Now, she probably grew up, you know, you know, trying to refrain from being a harlot. But then she said that eventually that wasn't satisfying her and she went out to be a harlot. When women talk about experimenting and, um, you know, uh, finding themselves, that's what they're talking about. They call it a hot girl summer. OK, and really, they, they what they do is they go out and try to have sex with as many men as possible. OK, they call that finding themselves and then they want to then they want to, you know, Years down the line, they want to, you know, find one man to settle down with them and marry them and treat them like they they're a, 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 a damn virgin on prom night, man. OK, this is wicked. This is wicked. And you women that's watching this, that believe in this in this truth, believe in this faith. It's not all about pleasure, man. It's not all about feeling good and having fun. You know, we, we, we are put here in captivity. And if you're looking for pleasure here in captivity, you're looking for comfort here in captivity. Hey, man, nine out of ten, you're you going to find destruction. Okay, cause 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 America promotes this wickedness, man. Not realizing this woman is, is destroying herself. Okay? You are destroying yourself trying to have fun, trying to find yourself. You're destroying yourself. And this is why a woman's supposed to be with a man and a woman's supposed to be guided and led. You're not supposed to leave a woman to just go do her own thing. Okay. I first like your first Timothy chapter five, verse six. But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. So that this woman. Is dead, man. You know, she is dead. And this is a part of the curses, brothers. This is the part of the curse that we have to deal with as, as you know, we come back into this faith, you know, and, 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 and you look at these women, understand that these women are harlots, man. A part of the curse is that our woman would be a harlot in the city. You know, this is a part of this thing. So when you understand that, it's not going to hurt as bad. Amos chapter 7, verse 17. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, thy wife shall be an harlot, an harlot. In the city. Now, let's go into this word harlot for you, those of you that don't know. In case you don't know, right? Because we we ain't living in a time of ignorance no more, man. This is a time to get some understanding. This is a time to seek the most high in truth and sincerity. 
All right. Or if not, you're going to be destroyed. Simple as that. If you don't, you're going to die. OK, that, that's just a cold, hard truth and fact of the matter. So like you bear with me. I'm a little stuffy, but, you know, drinking these herbal teas and, you know, I'll be good in, in no time, man. It says, um, the word harlot goes into Strong's H2181. Zana. Zana. It says to commit fornication, be a harlot, play the harlot. This is what this woman is talking about. She's talking about she she went and played the harlot to find what satisfied her. And that was being a total S-L-U-T. Okay, I can't say it because it's going to be on YouTube. But hey, man, you know, she played the harlot. It says to play to commit fornication when a woman has a man and she sleeps with another man. If a woman, if a woman listen, you women are only supposed to be with one man. Your body's not meant to have multiple men inside of you, man. That's multiple DNAs going inside you. That is destroying your body. That's why you got, you want to talk about how they bipolar and they got this and that and anxiety and this and that and third and uh, uh, all these issues you got going on because you done destroyed your body with all this semen, okay? Try, trying to find yourself. It says to be a harlot, act as a harlot, commit fornication. So when a woman goes sleep with another man, that's committing fornication. It says to commit adultery. Over 200K views promoting adultery. This is a heavy spirit that's in Israel, man. The spirit of adultery is heavy in Israel. This is why the Lord has to destroy this place, man. The Lord has to destroy America and destroy all these different strongholds and these, you know, this niggatry that's going on here, man. It says to be a cult prostitute, to play the harlot, to cause to commit adultery, to force into prostitution. It says to cause to commit adultery, to force into prostitution, to commit fornication, harlot, to go whoring, whoredom, commit fornication, whorish, harlot, commit, you know, let's bring that back. Being a good girl had me having bad sex because I was too much of a people pleaser to actually enjoy myself. I didn't know how to explore myself on my own because that was demonized. I didn't know how to ask for what I wanted and speak up because I didn't want to be difficult. Being a good girl had me having some of the worst sex ever. And so now that I've killed that portion of my like psyche and she that portion of her psyche. Wait a minute. Being a good girl. There we go. Wow. So she, she had killed that portion of her psyche, right? Showing you that that was in her in her nature, but she went against her nature and ultimately destroyed herself. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. Woe unto you that woe unto you. Okay, woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. Which is what she doing. She called him, you know, being a good girl, evil, really. Saying it wasn't for her. It, it didn't benefit her. It, 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 it just, you know, it was uh, you know, bad for her. But the whole time, being a so-called bad girl was destroying her. It's destroying her. That put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. So in her own mind, in her own eyes, she thinks it's okay, man. And you see how she's dressed all scantily clad, ba 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 barely got any breasts, but got what she got hanging out. You know, and this what came with what? Being being, being, being a bad girl. Okay, going go a horn. Okay. Uh, Let me grab this real quick. I ain't gonna make this too long. For some reason, everybody want to hit, hit me up when I go do these lessons for some reason. Um... Let's go down and let's go to the, the Apocrypha, okay? This is Ecclesiasticus chapter 26, verse 10. If thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly. I mean, you got to keep her in the house. Lest she abuse herself through over much liberty. You give a woman too much liberty, she will abuse herself and ultimately destroy herself, man. Okay? Through over much liberty. Look at this. Let's, let's, let's go on. Let's go on. We ain't done. Let me go up. Verse 9. Oh, verse. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ecclesiasticus or the book of Sirach, the 26th verse. 
8. A drunken woman and a gather abroad causeth great anger, and she will not cover her own shame. This woman is, you know, she, she ain't covered up. You know, she, 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 she on this video bragging about being a harlot. It says, the whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and her eyelids. Women go away, go away, go away those eyelids, which are cumbrellas. I got to bring, bring that video out. I keep forgetting. <coughs> but those cumbrellas. If thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly, lest she abuse herself through overmuch liberty. Watch over an imp so like watch over an impudent eye, and marvel not if she trespass against thee. So these women, you know, eventually they're gonna trespass against you, man. Eventually they're gonna, you know, go back to you know, you know, listening to the damn serpent. Okay. She will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler. When he had found a fountain, what does a, a man that found a, a thirsty traveler do? He found a fountain. He opened it. Ah, 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 you know, you, you're trying to down all that water, right? And give drink of every water near her. What do these women do, man? Huh? Getting facials. Okay. Yeah. All right. These women don't just go find, go, go get one, 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 one man. And it's just, you know, it, it's the most disgusting sexual intercourse you've ever seen, man. You know? It says, and drink every water near her, by every hedge will she sit down and open her quiver against every arrow. So this is talking about women going around having sex with everybody that, that they can find, man. You know, opening their quiver, opening their, their, their legs to every uh, arrow, which is symbolic for a penis. Okay. Verse 15, a shame face and faithful woman is a double grace, but her continent mind and her continent mind cannot be valued because because when you got a good a, 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 I ain't gonna say a good a woman you know that is you know not 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 as wicked as the rest that's a blessing man but really all these women have been polluted Ecclesiasticus chapter twenty five verse nineteen all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman let the portion of a sinner fall upon her and we get to the point. 23, a wicked woman abateth the courage, maketh a heavy countenance and a wounded heart. A woman that will not comfort her husband in distress maketh weak hands and feeble knees. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. Why? Because she's all about her pleasure, having fun, enjoying herself, doing her, finding her. Okay? When really the Lord put you on this earth to please and serve a man. Okay? Give her the water, but to, to, to them, that sounds like, you know, a, 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 a damn uh, somebody scratching a chalkboard, which is why the majority of women on this side are going to be destroyed. Truth be told, I just saw a video of a woman getting ran over, you know, multiple times. The man was running her ass over, you know, and that, I'm not saying that's right. I'm not saying that that man was doing okay, but that's just the time we're coming into where you, where, where you women are going to be in trouble, man. The Lord's going to, going to repay you for all your wickedness. Give the water nope, and, and all this pleasure and fun is going to be paid back with, you know, fear agony pain and distress give her the water no passage neither a wicked woman liberty to gad abroad if she go not as thou so looking okay give the water no passage so you can't give a woman a, a, a way a reason a chance an opportunity to go be a whore don't be a slut you mean that let, let your woman go out to the clubs and stuff you giving that water passage man and what happens when you give a, a, a little bit of water passage uh, it starts to overflow more water comes too it says, neither a wicked woman liberty to gad abroad. Gad abroad means to be running through the town and the cities having drinks, you know, sitting at the wine with other men. If she go not as, and, and, and you, 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 you got these women that go to college. <laughs> Jake got a woman, she go to college, she over there getting slutted out, getting trains ran on her, you know, getting completely, you know, abusing herself, man. And she won't tell you about it. You got to hear about it from your friends or her friends. You see, shameless man. She 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 holding she wiping her mouth and says she done no evil. It says, if she go not as thou wouldst have her, I mean, if she don't want to go your way, if she don't listen to you, if she ain't trying to follow you and and, and and serve you as a man, brother. This is what the scripture says: cut her off from thy flesh, meaning stop dealing with her ass, stop having sex with her, stop hey, be done with her all together, and give her a bill of divorce, and let her go. Let cut that bitch off, man. All right, cut her off. Let me see. We got this real quick. I'm going to close out. Uh, where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Proverbs. I need Proverbs 20. Y'all know where I'm going. 
Oh no. It's like in Proverbs 1 and 20. You see, because at the end of the day, man, all this wickedness is going to have is going to be accounted for. You know, 